Hi, I'm Ajit George. And I'm Wesley Schneider. And we're here today to talk about Journeys Through the Radiant Citadel, a new anthology of Dungeons and Dragons adventures. One of the things I love most about this book is that we got 16 black and brown writers to put together stories based on their lives, their backgrounds, their cultures, and their myths to weave 13 incredible adventures and 15 new locations that uh, players and DMs can really dig into. This anthology covers levels 1 to 14 and really highlights the incredible diversity of possibilities and adventures that you can see in Dungeons & Dragons. The Radiant Citadel could be um, a gateway through to all of the 15 lands described in there, but also there are 12 missing portals or Concord jewels that are transports. And that could be used to make links to their locations in their own home games. The adventures and locations, you can run these as one-off adventures themselves, or you can set them in any of a host of campaign settings. In writing for the Radiant Citadel, all of the writers, they share their notes with each other. And so uh, you will see seeds of each other's lands and adventures within the other. And you get the sense of like a shared world. The cultures, they all connect to the Radiant Citadel in that the Radiant Citadel is uh, ruled by a group called uh, the Speakers for the Ancestors. Journey to the Radiant Citadel includes multiple adventures. We're going to talk about just three of them here today, starting off with the adventure Wages of Vice. Wages of Vice is a fifth level adventure. The art is gorgeous, bright, a lot of pastels, something you don't usually see in D&D, &D. incredibly evocative of the Caribbean and the people. I think people are just going to grab onto this art and it's going to provoke their imagination to kind of sink into the land and the, the culture. Our 14th level adventure is called Orchids of the Invisible Mountain. And this is a plane spanning adventure where you start off in this region called Antagua. You're going to see mystery and majesty of the Feywild, but then go all the way to the inscrutable Far Realm and face creatures in the realm of madness. This adventure also includes a new monster, the Whistler, a Far Realm entity that's going to horrify your parties. The Fiend of Hollow Mine is a fourth level adventure. It takes place in the city of San Sotlan and the festival, the Night of the Remembered. When the departed and the dead come back to celebrate with their lost ones, their loved ones, um, in this raucous party of skeletons and spirits. And in, for this one night, those who have been lost come back and share this beautiful moment. And the players get to be part of that. This book has so much to offer. 13 new adventures, 16 new locations. And this is all just a taste of the adventures, the locations, and the monsters that you're going to find in Journeys Through the Radiant Citadel when it releases on June 21st.